Today we're at C-SPAN, the unblinking eye that brings government to your home, and we're talking to its chairman and founder, Brian Lamb, about how you can get better connected to your government and a new video on demand tool they've launched. Brian Lamb, for the two or three people out there who don't know what C-SPAN is, uh, give, give us an overview. You, you founded the thing. What, what is it? Well, it's, uh, today it's three networks, a radio station and 20 websites, but it started out to be a place where people interested in politics could go watch the whole event, starting with the House of Representatives and moving to the hearing rooms and then a lot of the political fora that uh, we have all over the city all the time. Now, a lot of people think Congress owns C-SPAN. Uh, disabuse them of that notion. Congress really has nothing to say about C-SPAN, including the fact that there's no contract with them, and uh, they really tell us nothing to do. We actually put our own IDs on the screen. That doesn't come from Congress. If we could, we put our own cameras in both chambers, the House and the Senate. They won't let us. Um, so we are, like any other news organization, we've just decided to plug in, take it all, run it all, as our trademark. And one of the few public issues where you've been public is on the matter of getting cameras in anywhere you can. More, I think the most recent one was on, in the healthcare debate. Well, we started as an organization that meant to open as many things as possible to the American people through the camera. So it makes sense that we would ask everybody, open it up. Uh, they have a right to say no, and they do it all the time. The healthcare debate, though, was really, it was confused. That whole issue around whether or not the president should negotiate on camera wasn't our idea, it was his. And when I wrote the letter to Congress, it wasn't about him, it was about them. We wrote the letter to all the leaders on the Hill and asked them to keep the conference between the House and the Senate open if they had a conference. They didn't have a conference, so it didn't matter. And then a lot of the conservatives jumped on that and went after President Obama, and it became a much bigger deal. Now, there's a whole new way for people to use C-SPAN. Uh, you might call it, uh, I guess, uh, video on demand. But uh, tell us about how this got started, and, and then I want to talk about how, pe how people can use it. Well, video on demand is the wave of the present and the future. Um, everybody's going to do it. Back in 1987, we started an archive that cataloged everything that went on C-SPAN and made it available to anybody wanted to buy it, frankly, at, the, at that point. As, when the internet came along, we started to make it available on the internet and digitize everything. And just a couple of weeks ago, um, approaching our 31st birthday, we rolled it out nationally where there's 160,000 hours available for anybody that wants to get in there and find anything since 1987. So what can people do with the video on their blogs? Uh, can they embed uh, yes. some of them on their blogs? Sure, embed it. They can link to it. Um, if they want the whole thing, you know, if they just want to use a clip, it's, there's a mechanism to do that. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be used. Yeah. Um, so there's we, no copyright problem no. for people to do that? Well, there is a copyright problem in, in some of what we do, but if it's not on the archive, you can't get it anyway, so we don't worry yeah. about it. But most, an awful lot of what we do is in the public domain, whether it's the hearings up there or the, or the floor action and things, things that the government it itself does turns out to be Use, usable by everybody. Have you considered letting people download clips? We have considered it. Someday we might. Mm -hmm. We don't at the moment. Um, it's, a, it's a constant problem to figure out what we can and can't do because it is something that we got. It's our product. We maintain the websites. We maintain the servers. And we don't want to lose all the value of it. So it's a tricky question. And uh, I'd have to get our lawyer in here uh, who is constantly pulling everybody back from giving everything away. That brings me to the screening issue. A lot of C-SPAN uh, uh, faves uh, out there who, who love it and watch it want, want to see the calls screened more. But that's something you've always not done. That's because we have not done and we will not do it. That's because this is a, uh, the people's network. It sounds goofy, I know, in some people's I, minds. I it's but it, 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 it's the statement. people's network. I mean, it's the idea is to let it go, let it flow, let them say exactly what they want to say. Don't be so jumpy that you think you know better than they do. And, you know, there's a lot of wisdom that comes in through those There calls. is. So when someone calls, they get in line, 
And no, no one asks them what they're going to ask about or anything? Oh, they ask them. They're not trying to screen them for content as much as, are you coherent? Uh. <laughs> are you drunk? Uh, <laughs> have you called before? Uh, voices we recognize. Uh, mm. And we try very hard to make sure that somebody only calls every 30 days. Every it's not easy. Days. Yeah, that wouldn't be easy, I would think. Brian Lamb, thank you for C-SPAN. And Craig, I can't tell you how excited I am that you're here in the Rosencrantz room, <laughs> named after our founder. And I hope this hasn't been an embarrassment. <laughs> and thanks, to, thanks for this new tool. Uh, you bet. Video on demand.